Hi, I'm Mike Edwards, I'm founder of DIY Doctor. Um, until I started DIY Doctor 10 years ago, I ran a building company for about 20 years. Um, after a bad experience in home base one night when I went to buy a piece of timber for a client, um, I started DIY Doctor. But uh, while I was in home base, I, I asked the young guy behind the counter for some 4 by 2 and he looked at me as if I were a Martian, and I said, you know, 4 by 2 100 by 50 millimetres timber. Ah, oh, wood, he said, yeah, it's over there, but I don't know if we've got those sizes. Now, it wasn't his fault. He, he quite clearly hadn't been trained in any aspect of building or DIY, um, and, and knew nothing about the products that Homebase sold. He knew some, where some of them were, if they were explained to him carefully. Um, but, but I thought, you know, this is a bad customer experience and it explains the number of people wandering around DIY sheds really puzzled and, and the number of returns that come back because people haven't got the right materials. So I wrote to the store, a very tongue-in-cheek letter, and I offered to put a builder in every one of their stores in the southwest of England for one day a week. I explained that their returns would go down, their sales would go up, and the customers would have a unique experience. They would actually end up with the things they needed to do their job. I didn't expect to hear back from them. It was, as I said, a very tongue-in-cheek letter. But six weeks later, I was in their head office talking to one of the directors after they'd written to me. Um, in the meantime, having had this idea with Homebase, I thought um, I'd found out a little about the internet, which 10 years ago wasn't, wasn't a huge thing. But I looked into it and I thought, well, if I can do it for Homebase uh, physically, I can do it for everybody on the internet. You, they can send questions, we can answer them. We have 13 tradesmen working for us full time. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, so I mentioned this to Homebase and I said that we could do this virtually rather than, than physically in the stores. And I suggested a three month trial with them so that they could, yeah, their customers could click into their website and through their stores contact us to find out the best way to do a job and which home based tools and materials to use. Um, it worked fantastically. We, we answered over 2,000 questions for home base and we went back after the initial three months to talk to them about finance. Uh, simply they didn't want to pay. Um, they told me they were such a huge company and we were so small um, that we really ought to be grateful and do it for nothing. Um, I can't tell you what I said to them, but we walked out of the office um, and then we set up as an independent DIY information and advice site and we placed advertised products in front of our website users. After two years we were doing particularly well, we sold the building company um, to, to refinance the business and allow it to grow and now ten years on we entertain a hundred thousand users every single week. Um, and they look at over 15,000 pages of information and advice on the website. In 2008, I was approached by Hodder, the publishers who are responsible for the 60-year-old series of Teach Yourself books. Everything from Teach Yourself Somalian to Teach Yourself How to Make a Dress. They asked me to write um, Teach Yourself Basic DIY. Um, the first edition came out in 2008 and sold excellently, which we're very pleased about. And then they came back and said, um, OK, that did very well. Could you do edition number two? Which we did. Um, and that also is going very, very well. Um, you will see by going to Amazon or wherever that it retails at $9.99. I'm very, very happy to um, give you a signed copy for only, a five, for only five pounds at trade shows or if you email into us um, and make payment including postage it's six pounds and you as you say you get a signed copy if you go onto Amazon on the website you'll see that you can flick through the book and see what's inside before you buy um, for a moment I'm gonna go and get changed um, and then we're gonna go up to our test sites up at the yard where real tradesmen build real things to show you how to do it. We don't steal images from DIY Collins manuals, we're actually out there doing it. 
Um, and uh, so that the advice we give you is very, very real. So while I go and get changed, if you want to have a look through the book, um, we, we'll show it to you on Amazon so that you can click through it. Um, and then you can come to us and get a copy. And in the meantime, uh, enjoy that and I'll see you soon.